But right now, over to the newsbreakers, and we join Chris Johnson, Elliot Friedman, and John Shannon. First, good morning to you. Good morning, Darren. Just a couple of things we're keeping an eye on this morning. One of the top offensive player available is Radham Verbata from Arizona, who's been on a tear for the Coyotes lately. One of the teams we're hearing taking a look at him are the Boston Bruins. There's been some rumblings about Calgary, although that's disputed at times. Not sure if they're in and out, but the Bruins are a team that's been looking at him. Also, Thomas Vanek was in the lineup last night, late for Detroit in Vancouver, Florida and L.A. among the teams taking a look at Vanek. One of the interesting parts, Elliot, about the Verbata situation is the fact his contract includes performance bonuses as a 35 and over player. That means $250,000 per round the team would win if you're talking about the playoffs. But he's also hit a bonus, $500,000 for having 40 points. And there's talk out there that some teams are willing to pay that. That scared a few others off. And in addition to that cost, John, you're talking a second round pick to get around him Verbata today. To me, I think we have to look at uh, who's going to be a buyer and who's going to be a seller. I think we all agree that Montreal has to do something, particularly on the offensive side. Sure, they've shored up their blue line a little bit uh, with the, the, the Ben and the Davidson acquisitions. But what is going to happen? Who is going to score goals for Montreal? And I think we're also still waiting for, you know, the sale coming out of Denver. Is Joe Sackett going to be able to put anything together today for a Matt Duchesne, for Gabriel Landis Cog, for Jerome McGinley? Those are key issues today. I I'm sure that most of those deals will happen in the summer, but nothing would be sur surprise me on March the 1st.